I wish you would have taken a moment to warn the newer guys about shared neutrals. Well, all right, bruh, here's your video. Garrett Robinson on my shocked on the neutral video had an actually really good comment. He said, awesome presentation as usual, but I wish you would have taken a moment to warn the newer guys about shared neutrals. Even if the circuit you're working on is off, it doesn't mean that the same neutral wire isn't being used for a separate circuit elsewhere that is still active. This is common practice in my area, especially in the older buildings. Let's do a drawing. All right, now, so we're gonna talk about two things. We're gonna talk about this whole issue, but I also wanna talk about another kind of crazy phenomenon where you might be able to test between two whites and get 240 volts, depending on the situation. First off, I just need to like restate this for people that haven't watched the other videos that I've made. Current is always traveling out on the black, back on the white, right? It's a complete loop. But in a 240 volt situation, current and the larger circuit is always going like this. So that means coming back on the red and going out on the white, you also have current. This is why current doesn't travel in a white. Most of the time, it carries an imbalance when the loads are not even. So we're just assuming these are both completely, perfectly even loads that are plugged into these things, two vacuum cleaners or whatever. We're not gonna have any current flow on that neutral. We're gonna have an outer circuit. So for to understand how what neutral current is, sometimes we have current on the neutral, a lot of times we don't if there's a completely balanced circuit. Most times we do though, because nothing is truly that perfectly balanced. So what happens though, instead of having like, um, if we ran two 12 twos out to two different loads, we'd have like one neutral that went to this white and we'd have one neutral that went to the red. We'd have two pieces of 12 two. So we're not sharing a neutral at all. If we disconnect this neutral, like we know everything's dead. If we disconnect this hot, we know this neutral's dead because it's all going back like independently. But if we have a shared neutral situation, say we have a 12 three, a lot of older homes, like 70s era, 80s era, they would run 12 threes from their panel outside and run them everywhere just to save one conductor. You know what I mean? It, like it, you could, you, saving that one conductor was cheaper than doubling up the amount of 12 two that you're running through a house. So a lot of GFI circuits in kitchens and things like that that are kind of close to each other, they would just make joints in the back of a junction box, put one circuit worth of plugs on one and then you would just pass the other circuit through onto something else. So we have a shared neutral. We have a black and a white that go out and they share the same exact neutral. And then at a certain point, they split them out into two different things. So what happens is if we, um, if we were to like say, say I've got uh, in my panel, I've got a 20 amp breaker here and I've got a 20 amp breaker here. We don't ever have breakers on neutrals. So we flip the handle of this breaker and we assume this circuit is dead. So we go and we touch this neutral and we're like, oh yeah, I can touch the neutral, I can touch the black, everything's safe, right? What we don't realize is that right here, this circuit is still a complete circuit. So you still have potential all the way through this whole circuit. So this part of this neutral can still have current on it. This part won't, absolutely, because we don't have a complete circuit anywhere and the current always travels in a path of a loop. So current is not going to travel in a place, if it's got a loop here, it'll travel in that loop, but it's not just gonna like magically go out here and sit here on a wire that's not connected. If there was another completed loop, like absolutely it would, but it doesn't have a complete loop that way. So there's not gonna be any current right there. There's only current in this portion of the circuit. But Mr. Helper going in, not realizing, being like, oh, I just shut the black circuit off and didn't realize it's a shared neutral circuit. And none of the journeymen had actually told him like, hey dude, there's potential for that neutral to be able to bite you depending on where you're actually taking it apart and messing with it. You could still have current flowing on this one and still get shocked by a neutral. So be really, really careful on shared neutral circuits. Oh, by the way, make sure you guys join our Discord. We have a Discord server. Just go to on the App Store and download Discord. I know it's another app you gotta download, but seriously, you have thousands of electricians in our Discord server all day, every day, just talking, sharing videos, stuff out in the field, asking code questions, like helping each other out. It's a really cool community. Definitely go join our Discord, link in the description below. Also go check out electricianu.com. We have continuing education, we have a membership, there's courses, there's classes, there's all kinds of stuff that's 
free for all the nerds like us. So check out electricianu.com. All right, so now let's talk about the other weird situation where you could get shocked between two neutrals. So say that we have like a big uh, blue junction box in an attic somewhere and we've got these two attic lights and for some reason somebody ran two circuits and they shared a neutral. So they brought everything into a central uh, junction box and then they went out to two different lights and one of them's on the red circuit one of them's on the black circuit I don't know, probably a weird improbable thing but i've seen weirder and let's say instead of receptacles on the uh those things it's lights so we actually have a completed circuit through here whereas a receptacle is not completed until you plug something into it so what would happen if we just went in here and we like disconnected the neutrals and it left everything else going breakers were on we just decided to reach our hands in there open up neutrals first and just disconnect all the neutrals well we just basically nixed out this wire right so like now this whole wire is not a thing anymore that's it's still got potential between here and here and it's still got potential here and here so you could get shocked between these two neutrals if you're if you have like both of these neutrals sitting out hanging at the box and you're just being Mr. Mr. Awesome over here, and you touch between those two neutrals, you're gonna get shocked. You're gonna get 120 volts going right through you because now you are completing the circuit. There's a complete path through that whole thing. So you gotta be careful about that. That's why you always turn everything off when you're working on it. Same thing over here, right? You got a wire here and a wire here hanging out of the box. Well, if you become the thing that completes the circuit, you're gonna get shocked between those two neutrals, but it's still gonna be 120 volts. Well, what happens when you do it Without the main neutral, you're like thinking, oh, I'm so smart. I'm just gonna cap off this wire. I'm gonna put a nice little wire nut on that thing because that one goes back to the panel. I'm not gonna get shocked. You still have these two wires. And what happens now is now you have a 240 volt show shock on your hand because basically instead of these wires being white, you gotta stop thinking about the color of wires. Color doesn't really matter. Electricity doesn't care about the color of wires. Now you have a complete red wire that goes all the way through and you have a complete black wire that goes all the way through because again you were a dummy and you didn't turn the breaker off when you started working on this you're just taking joints apart well now you have two white wires that when you touch between them you're gonna get 240 volts so you can get shocked twice the amount of pressure um, as was on there before. So there's a few dangers on working with shared neutral systems and you just have to be really careful, this whole shared neutral thing. There's a reason why there's breaker ties. There's a reason why uh, from a manufacturer, we have two pole 20s where it's like two breakers, two single poles slapped together and they have one handle tie. And in code, we're actually supposed to put our two circuits in and have a common trip or either a handle tie where there's like a mechanical tie that you put around two single pole breakers and make sure if one trips they both trip or you have to have a two pole breaker where that thing's already integral and both of them shut off you can't have one of these circuits that's able to be shut off while leaving the other one on while leaving potential still between two different things if you're going to work on one part of this you need to make sure that both of those circuits are shut off so there's no longer any way for there to be potential between the, com the combination of these two circuits. Now, leave some comments below if there's any other like weird situations that I didn't talk about or things that you can think of. I'll absolutely do some videos if they're worth merit. All right, Mr. Garrett, I hope I did you some justice. That was actually a really good comment. Like, thank you for leaving that. Uh, give me something to talk about. So if you guys are wondering what video he's talking about, click here, check this out. This is a video, can you get shocked on a neutral? If you also wanna just like know what a neutral is or what it does, click here, really good video. Love you crazy people, see you in the next one.